Ladies and gentlemen, meet my coach, my unofficial mentor in powerlifting, Johnny Candido, at just barely 180 pounds, standing at 5 foot 7 in height. Here he is warming up with 405 pounds for a fast and easy three reps. Sadly for me, three reps of 405 is the personal record I'm going to try and set today for myself right after this footage is over. So, Johnny has been seen squatting 405 for an easy 10 reps beltless before on his own YouTube channel. He has records like 500 pounds for 5 reps and 550 for a good 1, 2, or maybe even 3 reps. I honestly forget. Needless to say, at 180 pounds, Johnny is one of the strongest natural raw lifters on YouTube, an incredibly humble guy, and very, very educated. So that's why he's my mentor. This footage I actually stole right from his channel. I highly recommend you check it out because he has his own voiceover on it. But this footage was filmed the day after the FitCon Expo. And it's funny, because it was the FitCon Expo and he was exhausted, to keep the workout light, he decided to do paused reps with 515 pounds. Are you kidding me? The benefit was getting to watch him squat in person because I'm very visual and I've always picked up things visually. It actually helped me really nail down my low bar squatting technique and give it a successful try. Uh, just warming up for front shoulder raises here. Other side? Yeah, mine as well. Mr. HQ himself. This is going to be a fun post. Are you pausing? Huh? You said you're pausing? Yeah, but it's just going to be a single thing. Okay. That's because of what sucks is I can't really sync depth like I want to because of the rack. But yeah, yeah. We'll see. Johnny Candido lines up for the putt. Dang face. Dang face. Come on, Johnny. Standing overhead press. Come on, Johnny. Take weight. Uh, This video is brought to you by BioGrow. Get a discount on it in the info box below. And true to Candido form, he did deadlifts immediately following squats. But check it out, because he didn't have any chalk on hand, he decided to keep it quote unquote light and do uh, speed reps with just under 500 pounds. Yeah, lightweight speed reps with pretty close to my freaking max. Thanks Johnny Candido. Meanwhile, back in Rhode Island, the energy was up in Ocean State Health and Fitness today. You guys remember Aaron. I featured him in my videos a few weeks ago. He's a competitive drug-tested powerlifter, and he's working towards a 630-pound pull, and he was doing deadlifts right alongside me today. In fact, there was a few powerlifters hovering around the gym today, so the energy in Ocean State Health and Fitness was definitely up. It was a great day to get some heavy lifts going. What are low bar squats? They're squats with the barbell simply placed lower down your back. So instead of resting on top of your traps at the base of your neck like most of us are taught, the bar is now resting lower at the base of your traps and basically on top of your rear delts. When you go and flare your elbows backwards when you're in squat position and you're holding onto the bar, your rear delt should pop out creating a shelf for you to rest that barbell on. As you can see by the callus the barbell has left across my back, the placement is resting right on top of my rear deltoid head at the base of my traps. Now this is going to feel a little bit more awkward to get used to. You're going to have to lean forward a little bit more at the very top of your squat. And this is where uh, tight, tight, tight ass back, keeping a tight breath right in the stomach and keeping tight glutes comes into play. You also want to really focus on breaking and lowering the weight down with your legs, breaking at the knees and the hips, and trying to keep your upper body sitting back and upright as much as possible. And this is something I myself have to work on. Uh, when you're low bar squatting, because the bar is lower to your hips, it's lower to the center of gravity, it makes you want to lean into the squat a lot more. And the thing is, you can get away with doing that and not hurting your lower back like you would with a high bar squat. Because when the squat bar is high in your neck, obviously, and you lean forward, it turns into a good morning, and then it really kills your back. So I noticed after watching this footage that I myself am leaning forward a little bit too much. I'm not leading the squat with my lower body enough. Uh, so it's just something I need to be a little bit more conscious of in the future. Come on. Come on. Come on. 
Deadlifts are aware. Ari actually banged out a PR of her own today. She hit 185 for a clean ass double. Beltless, weighing what, like five pounds? Up, oh, come on. Pulling up, pulling up, come on, up. Oh. Woo! Good shit. And I unfortunately got a little greedy. Remember what I said in my last video? Don't get greedy. I did, I got a little greedy. I so badly want my sumo strength to be where my conventional strength was, and I kind of jumped the shark a little bit. So, yeah, an ugly two grinders, and I tried to get a third, and it was a no-go. So, in the future, I'm just going to stay a little bit lighter, especially when I have a successful squat day like that. Buy a t-shirt. NWBLifestyle.com in the info box below. Tank tops, t-shirts, hoodies, dog tags, you name it. Support and represent the lifestyle you live. <laughs>